So today we're here at Pegwell Bay uh, doing a boat transect as part of our annual harbour seal population survey. Um, so this is conducted during the molt period of the harbour seal um, in August to get a really comprehensive and accurate count of harbour seals in the Greater Thames Estuary. So we have uh, three aerial transects um, which we use a small fixed wing aircraft to cover the outer estuary sandbanks um, as well as the Kent and Essex coasts. We then have two boat transects which come up to the, the breeding areas, the, there's quieter, smaller tributaries to the Greater Thames Estuary. Um, and then we have a few land transects in the Medway um, to areas that we can't actually access by boat at low tide. So we have two um, species of seal uh, here in the, in the UK. We have the harbour seal and the grey seal. The, the harbour seal is the smaller of the species, um, the ones behind us here are, are harbour seals, and uh, the grey seal is a bit bigger and the, the bull grey seals, the adult males, can grow as three times the size of an adult harbour seal. We see larger colonies of seals in the, in the hundreds in the outer estuary, but we also do see seals in central London as well. They, they come up and they'll be following fish up the Thames um, and into central London and we see them all the way up to Teddington Lock, um, which is amazing, um, all the way through central London. So what's really important about this annual survey is to build up this really long-term data set to understand whether the harbour seals are increasing, decreasing or staying the same because only with this baseline data can we actually start investigating why there are any declines or increases depending on what we find. So it's kind of the cornerstone of all other seal research in the region. So what we really recommend people to do is to submit a sighting of a marine mammal, so a seal or a porpoise or a dolphin or even whales uh, in the Greater Thames Estuary if they see them to our sighting survey at zsl.org forward slash in the Thames.